Want to bet? Then get in on the action at Sports Interaction. Whatever your sport, Sports Interaction has you covered. Bet pregame, in-game, or in one of our many unique prop bets. Head to sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN or in Ontario, download the app now by using the QR code at the bottom of the screen. 19 and over, please play responsibly. I'm a bit nervous about mentioning this next player, Jacob Chikrin, only because uh, we know over the weekend he was scratched uh, from uh, the Lost Coyotes game for, and I'm not I'm not just saying this, this, this is what the Coyotes said, trade-related reasons. So that is very likely you could be listening to the show and he may have already been traded. Maybe not. But maybe he might have been. What do we know about Jacob Chikrin right now? Yeah, I almost was like, do we have to make this really quick in case it's just totally by the time it's even released, it's just dated. Yeah. Um, I, what, what I can tell you is this. I've never heard a team actually announce trade related reasons. Obviously, we've seen a never. number of players. A number of players over the years have been scratched under similar circumstances, but I've never heard it termed quite that way. And so when you see that on Saturday, a real shockwave goes through, you know, people doing our job, a lot of speculation out there. And I would, the best way to describe it is a cone of silence was, was dropped around a lot of the key principles that would be involved here. So we're, we're operating a little bit on secondhand sources. You know, I would say that the Los Angeles Kings appear to be the front runner for Jacob Chikrin. You know, he's a player they've had interest in, you know, going back, I think a year, or a year and a half since, since he's Chikrin's basically been on, on the trade market for a long, long period of time. Um, and, you know, LA feels like it has a need on the left side of its defense, obviously has a number of young players and prospects that it's integrated in its lineup. Chikrin sort of fits the mold. He's, you know, he's only 24 turning 25 in March, but you know, it's signed for a couple more years could be a good fit there. Um, if there's another team that's, that's still in the bidding, I'm not really aware of it. I mean, we know the Boston Bruins have kicked around on Chikrin and have, have been knocking on that door, but, I, you know, I have nothing beyond knowing that that's something that's happened to say that they're at the finish line now or they're, you know, part of this bidding. And I think what's a little strange is that we're recording this on Monday morning and it's, you know, it's 36 hours after the, the trade related reason scratch. I mean, usually if that scratch happens, it's because the trade is there. There may be haggling over like the final draft pick or, you know, some conditions on on a pick or something. And, and the trade is essentially guaranteed. I don't know that that's the case here. I mean. You know, the, the longer this goes on without the trade, it suggests that, OK, maybe some progress was made. But, um, you know, from the Kings perspective, I, I think that they look at this and think nothing has changed. Like they've been interested in Chikrin. They've engaged the Coyotes on Chikrin. But the only thing that's changed is all of a sudden the player was held out of a game. It doesn't mean that, that you know, that they're right, you know, crossing off the last small items of, of a complex transaction. And, and so... That's basically where we're at. I mean, I I wish I had more tangible information to share. Um, you know, if if it's sort of like gun to my head, what's going to happen here? I would say that that he's ultimately going to be traded to Los Angeles. But maybe there's a surprise. Like maybe there's a dramatic twist at the end. Maybe this is a move made. And again, I'm I'm operating a little bit blind because a lot of the key people involved in this are not saying anything. You know, maybe this is part of you know scratching him is done to try to drum up a little bit more interest to, to sort of signal to the other teams that have been interested. Like, look, we got something close here. So step up and make your best offer. If you're just waiting in the wings, you know, ultimately I think we'll probably be able to piece this together a little better in reverse, but as, as we're living it in real time, there's it's, it's kind of a, it's an unusual, unusual set of circumstances. One other element about this potential trade uh, that intrigues me is the inclusion or maybe exclusion of uh, prospect Brent Clark from L.A. Uh, I've seen a few people say, oh, he's going to be in a deal. Uh, some people have said he's not going to be in a deal. Scott Wheeler, a colleague at The Athletic, Scott Wheeler, uh, was with his wife, was giving birth to their second child and took the time to announce that that was happening and that Brent Clark is not getting traded, which I think is one of the wildest ways you can announce uh, a detail. Uh, what What's your thoughts on 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 that element of a potential Chikrin deal? I'd be surprised if Brant Clark was there. I mean, look, this is a this is a young kid who played nine games in Los Angeles before going to the World Juniors, winning a gold medal in Canada. You know, back in junior hockey right now. But you know, he's he made a strong impression on the Kings in in the sp in the fall to to crack their lineup out of training camp, and you know, pretty high draft pick. I mean, I, I'll never say never, but. It, I, that one doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And it sounds like the Kings have, have tried to sort of ease Brant Clark's 
uh, mind on that, that, that he's not part of this potential deal. I mean, there's a lot of wild stuff floating around. I mean, I, I do think Los Angeles has at least been interested in Vimalka, the, the goaltender in Arizona, who, you know, when you look at some of the underlying numbers for goaltenders in terms of goals saved above expected has has performed quite well behind a team, obviously not designed to win a whole bunch of games this year. He's under contract a couple more seasons at a very manageable number. We know about, you know, Los Angeles' struggles in the crease this year with Cal Peterson being sent to the American Hockey League. Jonathan Quick at the end of his run, you know, finally, uh, you know, his contract expires this summer. Maybe maybe this grows into something bigger. I mean, that's that's highly speculative, but that speculation is out there. And, and you know, the one thing I can say is I know the Kings have at least had interest in Vimalka. It's not to say that this is all going to come together and be a 10-player transaction, but, you know, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe, maybe everything like we went from this like cap strap league where no one changes hands. We've already seen two significant trades. Now we've got Carlson rumors and Chikrin rumors. And, you know, maybe, maybe that that's, that's how this ultimately ends up. But look, the Western conference is wide open. I think that the, the element, the sort of, if you want to tie a, a big bow around what's going on is I think if you're in Edmonton shoes, it makes sense to be thinking big. I mean, Los Angeles currently holds down a wild card spot. They have a negative goal differential like this late in the year. I, I don't know that I've ever seen that. So it, it would be pretty enticing if you're the Kings to say like, look, our team is performing pretty well, but we have some obvious issues. If they can shore up the goaltending or the, some of their defensive play, maybe, maybe they go on a run. I mean, I, look, they, they gave the Oilers all they could handle in round one last year. And and if you add pieces like Chikrin into the mix, you know, plus a healthy Doughty who wasn't part of that playoff series last year, plus potentially goaltender. I mean, who knows who like I, I think that there's 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 a lot of incentive out there for Western Conference teams that feel like they have a shot, whether that's Dallas, whether that's Winnipeg, obviously the the Oilers, we'll see what the Flames do. You know, even the Seattles and Vegas of the world. We haven't really got to Vegas. They got all this cap space all of a sudden with the Mark Stone surgery. So um th- th- there is like maybe that we might need that to, to spice up the trade deadline and it kind of seems like it's coming together. 